Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a closer look at the Smart Barbecue Bundle from Thermopen. So this is their like ultimate barbecue bundle. So this includes the Thermopen Signals, which is a four channel uh, thermometer. Uh, also comes with all four probes. So you get three penetration probes plus the ambient air probe. Uh, you get then the billows, which is a controller fan for your barbecue. So you can attach this on, it runs from readings off the signals uh, and that will blow air into your barbecue to keep it at a constant temperature. Also comes in with the curry case and of course the thermopen tongs. So this is kind of like the, the bells and whistles bundle. This does everything. This is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connected. Uh, you can control it through an app on your phone. You've got a reading on the main display here. But today I wanted to take a closer look at these two items and actually show you how to set it up. So we're going to set it up for a cook on my command. Joe. I'll show you how to set up the signals, how to get the app downloaded and get it registered on your phone. Then also how then you attach the billows to the Kamado Joe, get it all running through the signals and get the cook set up. So first off, let's take a closer look at the signals and some of the features that it has. Okay, so this is the main signals unit. Uh, if we turn it around the back quickly, uh, not much to talk about around here. However, you can see the power button at the top. And then we also have these magnets. So if you have like metal side shelves in your barbecue or metal countertops, uh, you can attach it on there. Kind of keeps it secure and out of the way. Turning to the side then, we have our four channel inputs. Um, so this will take any of the Pro Series uh, probes from Thermopen. Uh, we also have a USB-C power down at the bottom. And at the front is where the magic happens. So if we quickly power the unit on, you can see it runs from battery. Uh, if you're just using it to monitor temperatures in the barbecue, you're not running the billows off it, uh, the battery will be fine. But if you're running um, the billows, you will need to plug into USB-C power. So bear that in mind. Uh, in your shack, you will need power of some description. So here you can see the readouts for the four channels uh, or controls down along the bottom. So our volume, you can see here, we have our volume readout. Um, so this tells you we're at full volume at the minute. So when the alarms are gonna be quite loud, if you don't want to be annoyed with them, you just want notifications on your phone, you can mute the device. So it won't beep here, but it will notify you on the phone. Or you can adjust the volume of them. Next across then we have a backlight button. So we also have that backlight button on the back, so you can control it in two different places. And these are the controls we use then to set our temperatures. So you can see each channel has a high alarm and a low alarm and then the current reading. Uh, we've no probes plugged in here at the minute, so that's why they're just showing with dashes and we're getting this no probe uh, error message. But it couldn't be easier to adjust it uh, on the unit. So you just press the channel button. Uh, the channel that's currently selected will flash. If you want to move on to the second one, you push it again. Uh, if you want then to set temperatures for that, you press it once. Uh, we'll select the channel, press it again. We'll then move on to the high alarm. Use your up and down arrows to uh, adjust the temperature. Press set again, you move on to the low alarm. Same again, press whatever uh, buttons you need to get down to the temperature you want to set it to and press set and that confirms the settings for that channel. So you can set four different temperatures uh, for each probe. It really doesn't matter which uh, probe goes into which port. Uh, you can put the ambient probe into any of these if you're just using it to uh, read temperatures. However, if you're using it um, as a control unit for the billows, you do need to put the ambient probe into channel four. Um, once you do that and you attach the billows via the USB-C, uh, this will actually change uh, and recognize that you've attached a fan to it uh, and you only have one temperature set in there. So you just set that temperature to whatever you want your barbecue to be. But we'll get to that in just a second. Let's move on, I'll show you how to set up the Signals app because you can adjust a lot of these settings from within the app as well. Okay, so let's get the Signals app set up and get everything linked together and get this unit connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, I'll bring up my phone screen here just so you're not looking over my shoulder, but if you download the Thermalworks app from your desired app store, uh, open it up. You can see the option down here then to add a device. So if we click that, we're, today we are adding a Signals. Uh, we'll make sure our Signals is powered on, which it is, and tap Next. It then searches for it and finds it. Initially here, we're connected via Bluetooth, so make sure your Bluetooth turned on your phone. So now it is asking to join the network. I will add the password here. I'll tap next. That will add the Wi-Fi, and that's it. Hit next, and here is our app with all our details in it. So obviously at the minute, our channels um, are saying not available because we're not plugged into them. We can go into the settings here, and we can change the device name. So of course this one has to be called barbecue signals. Um, 
We're currently plugged into the power so we can see the battery of the device. Um, you can set the color, you can set the display whether Celsius or Fahrenheit. I'm gonna keep mine in Celsius. You can set a transmission interval. So if you're doing a fast cook, you might want that to be uh, a little bit shorter. So uh, you can set it to every 15 seconds. All that basically means is this unit will send an update to the app every 15 seconds. Today we're doing low and slow cook, so we don't necessarily need to update it that often. The temperature isn't gonna to change too rapidly, so we're gonna leave that on 60. Uh, you can then see our Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and the firmware. Uh, just be warned, open your signals up first and set it up out of the box um, before you come to do a cook. Uh, if it does need to update the firmware, it can take a little bit of time to get that done, so you wanna do that before you're standing there waiting to put your foot onto the barbecue. So if we go out, back to our readings, you can tap into each channel. You can name the channel, so if channel one is your food, you can name that. Um, you can set your high and low alarms here as well. Uh, you can also then, if you have your probe set up with these little silicone rings, like this, you can then set that ring color on this too. So, so at this stage, I think the best thing to do is probably to go and get the billow set up on the barbecue. And we'll actually set the cook up and we'll go through how to set it up in the app. So this is the billows fan unit. Um, there's not a lot to it. Everything works on the inside of it. Uh, there's no controls really on the outside of it. Uh, we have this spring uh, which holds it into the vent. And it's designed to go into the inlet uh, vent for most barbecues. Um, you simply press this spring together, push them through the barbecue and then release them and that holds the unit on. Now for some grills like my Kamado Joe, that will require a bit of an adapter because the vent coming in here is much too large for this to hold on because you want a good seal around it. So for the legs of my Kamado Joe, this vent is much too big. So you get a little adapter plate which you can buy separately for it uh, and that's what the signals fits onto. So I'll show you how to install that in a second. As far as the unit itself goes, um, we have the inlet for the fan here, so it comes with this protective rubber bung. Uh, so you can remove that and run the fan as is here. The bundle also comes in with this uh, damper, so you can actually fit this uh, onto the back, just snaps into place. And that actually gives you a bit more control over how much air. So rather than it being a full open vent, uh, you can adjust this down a little bit. If you're doing a low and slow cook, which is what we're gonna be doing today, you can knock that vent down so there isn't as much air available to it. The only other thing to really show here is the USB port on the bottom. Um, this is what powers the unit and uh, it takes all the information from the uh, signals unit down to the bellows and controls it. So I'll pull you in a little bit and let you see how we install the adapter here and actually put the unit onto the barbecue itself. So to install the little plate, simply open up your vent, uh, put it into that bottom uh, reel where the, the, the vent door slides in. Bend it out slightly and pop it up into the top. So that installs it in the channels that the door usually slides along. Then we can push it along into place and get it in behind this little lip here. This will hold it in place and stop it from popping out and then the door will simply slide in behind it. So now the whole thing is sealed apart from this one bit that the bellows will then push into. So then to install the bellows itself, We'll just press the spring clip together, push those ends through that gap, and that will hold the bellows in place. So now they are completely covering that little hole. Um, you want to install your fan to the bottom as well, so that if you get any rain on this, it's gonna run off the sides, it's not gonna get into that USB port. Speaking of the USB port then, if we take our USB-C lead and just plug that into the bottom, and to start with, we're gonna make sure that bottom vent is fully open as well. So we've got maximum airflow going in here. We can now take this end over to the signals and we'll get this actually set up to cook. Okay, with our bellows attached, we can take the cable from that and plug it into the adapter for the signals. So we have the fan port here. We're gonna attach that in. We then turn the signals off and we can remove the power from that and add it into the power port here. So now we have one USB-C port with two cables coming out of it, one going to the fan, one going to power the signals. And we we'll plug this into the side. Before we turn it on, we can go ahead and attach our probes. So we have our barbecue fired up, we'll add in our cooking grates. And we can put our little probe clip onto the grate and then wind out our ambient probe. So the probe goes into that clip to hold it in place and then we plug the other end into channel four of our signals. So I'll close the barbecue down now, just so we aren't getting a false reading. Um, so now 
our temperature is going to be red inside that. I'm going to keep the top vent fully open for now, just to, until we get it up to temperature. But I'll bring it in a little bit closer and just let you see what it says on the screen here. So you can see here, channel four has got this little fan symbol um, and we only have one temperature. The rest of them have two temperatures that we can set. This one only has one. Um, currently we're reading 55 degrees. Uh, so the fan is going uh, at the minute. It's currently set to 107 degrees. I want it a little bit higher than that since we are, this is for uh, low and slow, but that's a little bit low for me. So if we press the channel button until we have our fourth channel flashing, if I press set once, it chooses the channel, set again, and now we can see that 107 degrees is flashing. So I think for today, we're gonna go up to 130 C. Um, still low and slow, but it's not incredibly low. So I will hit set to confirm. So I stop flashing now. You can see the low alarm. If I turn the sound on here, um, it is flashing a low alarm to let me know that the barbecue has dropped below that. Um, so we're only at 64 C um, and the barbecue is set to 130 C. So I actually want it to be higher than that. So we're going to let that run for a little bit, let the barbecue settle at temperature, make sure the ceramics are heat soaked, then we can get our food on. Okay, with the port shoulder on the barbecue and a penetration probe in the meat, we now have a reading on probe one for the meat temperature, and then our probe four is running the barbecue temperature. Our barbecue is up the temperature, and we've closed a little baffle down in the bottom of the bellows, and we've closed our top vent down, so it's just open a crack, and so the bellows is kind of managing it. The temperature, if you set the temperature to 130C, it will fluctuate a few degrees below and a few degrees above, um, but the bellows will keep it in and around that uh, area, so you don't want to leave your vents wide open or the temperature will run away with you. But for now, temperature sitting around 130C, we're going to jump into the Thermoworks app again. And you can see our two probes here. So we tap into probe one here. We can set the name to pulled pork. OCD needs capital P in there. Uh, we can go ahead and set alarms as well. So low alarm, we're not really worried about it. It's food. It shouldn't be getting color in your barbecue. So we'll set a high alarm of about 195 Fahrenheit. Um, we'll come back at that point and we'll try and check it for tenderness. But um, So we've got high alarm, low alarm. Um, the ring color we've used for that one is yellow, so we can select it. And that's everything we really need to change. So we can hit save. That is saving the settings and that will pass the high and low alarms over to channel one on the signals the next time it updates. We've already set our temperatures here, so we can set this as Kamado Joe, so we know that's the Kamado Joe temperature. We've already set the fan temp, so there's no need to adjust it. And that's it, we can go and get on with our day. So the good thing about this is the unit itself is connected to the Wi-Fi from my house, so uh, whilst we may stray out a Bluetooth range, it will seamlessly swap between Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi. So whilst I'm close to it like this, I can monitor it through Bluetooth, but if I decide I need to nip out for the shops, I want to check in with what's happening, make sure my temperatures are okay, I can do so on this. I can also then adjust the fan temperature on the app as well. So if I am away and I think, right, this is taking too long, I'll bump the temperatures a little bit, I can adjust it on my phone and that will send it to the unit and turn that fan on to rise the temperature inside the barbecue. So it does let you do it remotely. So that is the basics, we just let it go. We can keep an eye on our phone if any alarms go off to let us know if we're getting close to our uh, final temperature or if the barbecue temperatures are getting a little bit out of sorts, but uh, the fan should look after that for us. So that is a bit of a closer look at the Smart Barbecue Bundle from Thermopen. Uh, if you want to find out any more details about it, I'll leave a link over to their website down in the description box of this video. Overall, it's a highly technical system. Uh, so whenever you're dealing with sort of Wi-Fi settings, 
Um, it can take a number of different probes, so if you're running a few grills at a time, you can kind of run them all off this one unit. But really, it wasn't that hard to set up. But if you do have questions about it, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.